Hello there everyone all around the world and wherever you're watching this video from, I'm Shay Dairo. Today guys, I want to show you how to verify your Alipay account. How to verify your Alipay account such that you can receive funds and you will be able to send funds and you will be able to use this account to buy anything online, buy things from uh, Chinese e-commerce sites use the accounts for anything you want to do transfer money receive funds and so on so if you are in with us you are welcome to my youtube channel so I go further on this while you are here I want you to subscribe to my youtube channel here because there are many things that will actually benefit your life from here uh, give me a like on this video and leave your comments I will actually appreciate that from you guys because also check through after watching this video you can take your time to check through there are many videos here that will add value to your life so without wasting much of our time now let's move to the business of the day on how to verify your alipay account so let's go there now so on my screen now um, i want to quickly show you how it works just let's assume that you are just getting this now from play store alipay uh you install this on your phone so let me now tap on it now to see how this will work on your own so you can see from here now uh this plus eight six here is you you have to change this one first then this plus it is by default is china number number phone number uh country code then you have to put your phone number here after this one so that is what i i want to do now plus it is so i will quickly search for nigeria here nig maybe this will quickly give me nigeria from here you see nigeria here then i click on nigeria then i'll put the phone number i want to use here actually i have uh phone numbers i'll I'm using already for this so i just want to use alternative number like, like that to train you guys here so the next thing now is to click on next service agreement and privacy protection i'll click on agree then service agreement and privacy protection i'll still click on agree uh, next so they say enter verification code i'm expecting them to send me the code now why they gave me the countdown of 50 something seconds good select country or region so i put nigeria here great that's all so i just signed up to uh alipay now next thing for me to do now is just verification that's the next thing we want to achieve now so for verification there are many ways you can able to go to that verification line but before we go uh i need to check some things here before i go so i'll click on this account look at this account i'll tap on this account then from here you can see that nickname is on set look at this nickname on set so i need to go and set it then the picture i need to put a picture there so that it will not be like a spamming account so let me go and set it now next thing to do is to click here i'll tap on this arrow now to quickly do this set got it all right see photo i can edit from here now let me quickly put picture from here now i'll tap on this to put quick picture so choose from photos take a photo set a widget so i'll let me leave it i can be doing that later but it's very important for you to do that all right so let me come back then nickname click on this nickname so that we can set the nickname so what nickname do you want to put there now uh as for this because i'm just using this one to train you guys so i'll put sheyi demo sheyi demo that just i'll put it put there but you can put anything you prefer there all right so next thing let me click on save no this is save so i click on save now all right next thing i want to show you let me check this avatar this avatar let me just let me check here that avatar was one of the update things they put there it wasn't there before those is alipay avatar so let me come back i think it's not it's not yet fixed so it's one of the things they want to use to upgrade this app okay my name carol i'm still coming to train you about this but let me just quickly show you i think we have done the important thing from here let me now come back let me check this my profile before we go for verification now okay so let me come back let me go back now quit i want to go back to home page so that i can show you what's next to do okay you see now show you demo is, is fixed now all right so let me click on home so that you can see what i want to do again all right from home click on account again click on account so from account now we want to quickly do verification now uh you may click on this one balance 
that is one of you know, i told you there are many ways you can do this now click on balance from balance now or uh, let me do it this way i'm seeing this one i just in there like this so i think it's one of the way we can use to do verification but let me go back instead of clicking balance let me go back then click here now settings click on this settings you see this setting icon click on it so next thing now is to click here account and security i think it should be here let me check oh great it's here so look at this now email address is very very important please go and put your email address although it's not mandatory but you need it you need it it's very very important so after that now you will click here now this is what we want to do now identity information so click on verify now all right now nigeria passport information because when i was filling this i put nigeria right so that's why they know i'm from nigeria now you click you click on we have two options to submit your passport information it's only international passport you can use as of, as of now when i'm making this video they only accept passport international passport that is only uh id they accept here now so you have two options two means is it that you click on scan to feed automatically which means this let's say this is my passport right this is my passport you, you will now place it like this the front page like this all right the front page like this now you will put it down like this and just click on this scan look at this now like this let me quickly show you because many people usually make this mistake look at this now so you will put it down like this why it's open like this so you put it like this you will now click on this scan to fill automatically so when you click on that scan you place it on it like this ensure this thing is very flat this passport is flat don't allow it to bend flat like this then scan it the thing will capture the wall of this page that is first method so i'm using this uh, uh passport it's expired right so this is the uh renewed one i'm just using this one to train you expired one so now that is one method right when you do that it will capture the necessary information once right the second method is to use this one now fill all this manually manually then click on submit that's all so that's what i want to do because i wouldn't want to put my uh my official details there right so because i just want to just use it to train you guys i will just put anyhow information there so that's why i want to put it manually so enter full name in english that's the first thing here now let me just put any name manually just put shayi godwin ensure is the name you use on your passport a full, a, a full english name on passport just full name on this your passport as you put it here put it there exactly so that is what you should, it should be in the first one then second passport number passport number look at my own passport number here they put a something 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 right your own name may not be a something i'm talking about now international passport in nigeria here my own started with a then followed by how many numbers digit one two three four five six seven eight so you put it here like here like that a this something 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 like that but i would advise you to put, do scanning automatic scanning this thing will capture everything needed so let me also put a and i'll put random number there mm, random number so it's okay then date of birth exactly as you put it on your international passport just put it here then i'll click on confirm i just put any random something there so passport expiry dates when this passport will expire exact date day month so uh i'll put something random there now 2026 confirm then then you cannot click on submit button now incorrect passport number format okay <laughs> let me read this let me see how many now one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven okay okay you should take it now submit good now this is another next is another step now identity verification now look at the first one the first option is upload passport second is verify passport chip third is verify chinese mailer bank card so you should go for the first one as international applicants go for the first one here let me just uh show you again you see now even they put, even put recommend here so go for the first one i'll click for this first one now. take a photo upload from album oh it's not correct what will i do now i put, I put the wrong information there so let me just snap this one let me snap it like that although it's not correct but let me just take a photo 
or upload from album which means you have scanned you have snapped it before with your camera you uh, you crop it to normal thing how it should be then you not upload it that's one option second option is to take a photo just like what i want to do now enable access to camera go to sets camera enable i'm using clone app to do this okay so they want me to capture only this front page this one now uh, you see now they want me to capture only here only down here this information you are seeing that's only what they want me to capture not the whole of this so i will now set this thing there now to matching and i will snap it anyhow so i just snap it anyhow now i did fine ah oh god oh take a year okay i'll click on done so we are going towards the last part of this now i wish this thing can this thing can just take it anyhow as i'm putting it now i did not snap the passport very well i see i should ah! Ah, this is a passport has expired passport has expired jesus what should i do now ah. so now let me just quickly hint you from here now because i don't want to use my real passport to, to complete this but what will happen after here now after this place now when this thing take this because i honestly i don't want to use this if i use this you know i've using different name anyhow name and it's not uh pulling the data on my risk passport here now so now let me just quickly brief you what will happen now let me now brief you what will happen from here now when gotten to this play this step now after you snap that and upload it now they take confirming that all the data you put there are correct they just want to check what you put there and what you are trying to upload it does it related so when confirmed now the next thing they will do is face verification face verification they want to be very sure that you as the owner of the passport are you in support of this because you can use this passport that passport you are seeing now you can use someone's passport to verify your account you can it's not compulsory that the passports passports should be owned by you you can use third parties passport international international passport to verify your account now that is why they now put that at the last that face verification you now as the owner of the part are you are you in support of this they want to see your face so that your face now they will check it with the picture on your passport that are truly are you the owner of this thing now so they want to use that one now to to know if you are in support of this you as the owner you are in support of this so that is just the essence of that now that face verification now it will just come up they will put something like the like image of your head like shape of your head they want you to put your head that will match that shape of that shape of your head you put it there then you click on that thing to initiate the scanning once this thing will be scanning you have to put your head straight it will be scanning your face scanning your face scanning your face and the, when the thing will now complete that uh, your face is captured successfully nothing verification to know if you verify or not verification is just within few within five to ten minutes if within five to ten minutes they can, they will verify your account it's not something that will be taking in hours i mean maybe hour or even a day no within five to ten minutes or 15 minutes they will verify your account so uh how will you know if your account is verified how will you know i have a video on that i want you to go and watch just check the description box you'll see it there or after this video now i'll i'll sh I may give you the link to go and watch it so that is just do you have any question regarding this drop it in the comment box and when you are trying to do this do you have some challenges you want to you want me to help you through drop it in the comment box i'll be happy to treat this for you so how will you know if your account is verified how to get in touch with uh, customer support for an assistant maybe you have a complaint so, so something happened and how how to use ali pay effectively everything is in the comment box go and check it very well guys 
so thank you so much for giving your time uh let me just give you the link here now this video go and watch it it will train you on how to know if your account is verified or not and if you have complaint with custom you, you you need help of the customer support go and watch this video it will help you train you on how to connect with your alipay customer support these two videos are very important thank you for giving me your time i really appreciate it. and i know you guys have subscribed to my youtube channel bye for now